Hello. And welcome. Got stuff from Tabletop Tycoon. They supply some of our games, and we got a whole bunch of them here for you guys. Um, I'm not Harry. I don't know anything about board games. I don't play board games. I mostly just do Magic the Gathering and d and I'm better than Harry. Harry's PS2 graphics. Your PC. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so we got some board games and some stuff for the nerdy D&D types. It is so many animal board games. There are some good animal that board games. This is Everdale. As you can see by the incredibly prestigious ribbon on the side of the box, it has many rewards in the front. Oh. There you go. Let me see what kind of rewards this thing has had. Uh, best New Game of 2018, Paste Game of the Year, Vulture Best New Game of 2018, Nerds Earth Best Game of 2018, Smithsonian.com Top 10 Games of 2018. You know it's serious when the Smithsonian, when the Smithsonian gets involved. <laughs> you know, my footprint is at the Smithsonian Museum. It's just marketed as Bigfoot's footprint. <laughs> <laughs> One to four players, 14 plus, it lasts a while. Um, it looks really cute, really fun. I like any game that features these small little woodland critters. I'm really, really into pretty. Humble Woods, so this is kind of like right up my alley. Did you know that, that we got more of it too? How about Spirecrest? It's a crest with spires. Oh, it's got a little a moose meeple. You can moose barely meeple. see him. Check him out. Oh, look, it's got Matt. <laughs> oh, you're right. Ah! <laughs> it's a little turtle, and he's Matt got goggles is. on. That wasn't enough. How about Bill Fair? It's so cute. This has got a little mouse, and look at the cute little strawberry. Bill Fair, not your spice. We got Pearl Brook. Look at this little lizard who walks on the water. <laughs> Isn't he cool? So we got some Everdell stuff. Come by, check it out. Let's see what else we got over here on this table. Well, I make as much noise as humanly possible. <laughs> this is Twilight of the Gods. Um, it comes with three tiny thingies, or these are three tiny oh. thingies you can buy. Um, season of Apocalypse, Season of Prophecy, Season of Ep Epiphany. I bet these would taste great in a stew. I think they're also seasoned. The I'm assuming so. Twilight of the Gods. Yeah. Not just the hat rack. Anyway, uh -huh. I'm going to assume this is a card game of sorts because this looks cardy. Um, that looks boxy. Age of Revelation. This does look boxy. It's got a ton of cards on the back as we've shown before, so I'm assuming this might be something of a deck builder. Uh, this is from Victory Point Games. 200 action cards, 4 deity cards, 20 mini cards, 2 player mats, and over 30 counters. That's more than I can count. What's Burp. counting? A counter. I barely know her. <laughs> Keeper. I barely know her. Oh. <laughs> oh. It, oh it looks. Key. Keeper. 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 Keeper ist ein Spiel, das über von Jahr wird instead für Roden gespielt wird. Either Spieler big mit in. Ooh. I almost. I, I I did a little bit of German on that Duolingo. That uh that bird's still watching for me. Actually, that bird's still trying to find He's still me. trying to get me. A keep keeples. Oh, you they got with eight instead of meeples, keeples. you have keeples. Mm -hmm. It looks a little complicated. It's got some counters and some pretty gemstones and stuff on it. Um, again, I don't. This is from R&D Games. I don't play board games that much, so I'm going to be judging these entirely off the cover. Um, typically, these sort of complicated-looking board games tend to be... Entice me, box. Entice me. They tend to be uh, fun. I know the one I played, uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg or whatever, uh, looked really complicated, but I ended up this having a lot of fun with it. really based on the seasons. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Well, how yeah. about that? What's your People. favorite season? Uh, cool. Yeah, that one. I, I don't. I've never watched this movie, so I don't, I'm sure these are full of a ton of. Oh, Princess Bride. Yeah, I'm sure these are what? A ton. Of, Inconceivable. These are party games. Yeah. Huh. Uh, this one looks like it's straight from the movie. Prepare, so this is Prepare to Die. is a standalone party game based around <clears throat> your iconic line from Ennio Montoya. Your objective is to make the base combinations of people out for vengeance and reasons to feel vengeful. So, uh, hello, my name is Darth Vader. You trolled my YouTube post. Prepare to die. That's what it says on the back. Uh, inconceivable. I think it adds... I think it's a standalone. Can be used with any game or activity. Break ties. Uh, wow. What? You want to add on for what might be literally any game? I dare you to put this in any game. I don't know what's in it, but it's fine. I'm sure it adds fun It's inconceivable, any game. whatever's in it. Um, and you got what? I hate, I hate to, kill to kill you. What's it about? It's got some dice and stuff. Uh, recreate and rewrite epic sword play encounters from the Princess Bride in a fast-paced dice and card game. Will the mysterious man in black or the decided Inigo Montoya triumph? 
even cruel Count Rugen or cunning Prince Humperdinck can win this time. So, uh, yeah, you're rewriting the story. Uh, and this is a battle of wits, inspired by the classic scene from The Princess Bride. A battle of wits is a fast-playing card game of deduction, bidding, and bluffing. Secretly play a wine or poison card beside a goblet, or bid to and drink from a goblet it. at the end of the game. Party games. If you like Princess Bride and you like party games, battle of wits, prepare to die. I hate to kill you, inconceivable. That was the most in-character thing. What's your favorite Disney movie? Mine too is also Finding Nemo. This isn't that though, this is Nemo's War. You are Captain Nemo, commander of the Magnificent no, Nautilus. You will search the wild seas, combat vessels of, an, of all nations. <laughs> Brave the hazards of the deep, find mysterious treasures, behold the chronicle amazing worlds of wonders, and travel around the world in your quest for knowledge and vengeance. Nemo's War is based on the novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. You'll like this one. Dig Dog Dig. <laughs> It's a game about dogs and they dig. Dig, dog, dig. It's dig, a cute dog, game. Dig. I love dig, the dog, back dig. of this. It's about dogs doing a lot of digging and digging <gasps> doing a lot of dogs. It's got so few words, I can manage this one. They're in big letters, too. Four dogs have buried their prized treasures in the yard, but they cannot remember where. Take turns digging up the yard, trying to be the first doggy to find all five of your favorite toys. I am in love with this game already. Show off the back. Look at the well, cute little so doggos. So this one buried a ducky, a sneaker... I think I saw a pot somewhere over there. Uh, a flask. Oh, no, it's a whoopee cushion. This is from Flying Meeple Games. <laughs> flying Meeple? Um, a comb. You know, normal dog stuff that one would find in, one the would find in their yard. <laughs> How stinking Aww. cute is that? I would play this. Darkest Night. It's a game where you have to play it no later than 12 o'clock at night and with no lights on. Is that what it says? Yeah, legit. You have to play this in the dark. I'm completely lying. I don't know anything I about this game, so I'm gonna lie about every game that's on here. Let's show off the back for a bit. Like we said, it's got it's got it looks like it's got some minis and stuff. And it does have minis people down there. Um, minis and mini cards. Neat. Neat. What's next on our what's next on the menu? I don't know, I can't reach him. I can. <laughs> well, one place where they can't find me. <laughs> Space! Space! <laughs> this is Alien Frontiers, Alien Frontiers Factions. Deploy your fleet of dice and colonize the untamed planet by utilizing orbital facilities. Discovering alien technology and constructing words. colonies in strategic locations to stake your claim to the far-flung frontier. Say that five times fast. Far-flung frontier, far-flung far -flung frontier, frontier far-flung far -flung far frontier. <laughs> alien Frontiers, this is the faction. I'm assuming it's a, an expansion pant. Expansion, it says it right there. Another one. We the best. This is also a little space theme, more closer to home, planetarium. Good catch. Matter swirls around a newborn star, colliding to create a unique solar system and a beautiful board game experience. This actually kind of sounds a little up my alley. Uh, it may, I'm, I know I kind of play the dumb card more times than I really should, but I have an extreme fascination with space. So you kill the Earth? No, you make the Earth. A uh, big explosion happens in the center of the galaxy, and you make your own new galaxy. Oh. I'm going to blindly throw a blind spot at you. Okay. Can you read this? Read what? Can you read this way? It's, it's over here. Oh, 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 show them what it is. It's uh, it's one of those um, I can't read Reading, good tests. Yeah, I can't read good tests. What a weird little, it's a party game is what this is. In this word game, it's what you don't see that will help you. It's a little too ominous That's for my cryptic. liking. Eleminis. 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 Keep your friends close, but your Eleminis closer. <laughs> <laughs> Eleminis are cute mini elements. The power of air, water, rock, fire, and plant. Plant. The element of plant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Collect all five unique Eleminis to win. This is also by Flying Meeple. Oh. It's cute. Uh, two to four, two to eight players, four ages, four and up. So yeah, um, a more family-friendly game if you're wanting something a little unique. Cool. So we're gonna switch to the close-up cam because I have some goodies to show you that I think you will enjoy. All right. So, as you all know, we here like to play our Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Do you play any sneaky characters? Um, any conniving swashbucklers or you know I have a swashbuckler? Yeah. Any like. Some 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 individuals who are more persuaded by things of the shiny money, nature. Money, money. 
Well, I've got some interesting dice that I want to show you all. These are rogue sets. This is a seven dice set. Um, I'm going to take these out and actually show them off a little bit because these are really cool. It looks like um, different paraphernalia and um, interesting wares that a rogue might uh, might have. So I, <laughs> if you have coin, we have wares. Exactly. So here's a, <laughs> I think this is a D10, but it is fashioned in the form of a bag. So you would roll it. Cute. And you roll three. Here is a D20 that looks like an explosive barrel. And look, okay. it's got a little a little dagger D4. Little dagger dude. Give you... <laughs> that a little roll. Four. Wow. D6, it's a little arrow. How about that, huh? And you got this big old gemstone looking dude. A little, little vial. So, some neat stuff. Those but it don't end there. This one's really neat. Have you seen this one? No. Oh, actually, I saw, but I didn't see how it works. This is a lock and key D20. So yeah. you will take here and put it. Yes. Now you take here and here <laughs> and your here, here. Ooh. Give it a spin. I, I just. Spin it. Oh! It'll go for a hot minute. Oh, and then there's a thing. Watch. Watch a this. Window. This is really cool. Goes for a while. Oh, wow. I'm so good at this. <gasps> and you rolled a 15. How about wow. that? I'm so good at this. It's like a little lock pick. That's really cute. Actually. Isn't that really cool? So we got those. And uh, these do come in some other neat colors. As you can see here. And uh, we do just have standalone, like a bunch of D6 arrows. <clears throat> or this uh, D20 gemstone. I guess we should say buy or something. Buy or something. Buy or something. Buy her something. Buy. Buy or something. Buy her something. You know what she wants. Buy me something. <laughs> <laughs>